A Tennessee state representative says in light of the beating death of Tyree Nichols, the culture of the Memphis Police Department's policies and practices need to change. Action News 5's Jerry Askin joins us live now from the federal building and spoke with State Representative Justin J. Pearson of Memphis outside the federal trial for three former Memphis police officers. Jerry? Hey, Joe, good evening. Um, MPD, we know they say they can't comment on pending litigation. MPD, as far as in this Tyree Nichols case, um, the family of Tyree Nichols is suing MPD, those officers involved, and the city of Memphis. This coming as that state representative, Justin J. Pearson, saying this trial here in federal court is shedding a light on the culture of policing in Memphis, and it's time for change. There needs to be much more done to prevent tragedies like this from ever happening again. Tennessee State Representative Justin J. Pearson joined the family of Tyree Nichols Monday as the federal trial entered week three for three of those former MPD officers charged in Nichols beating death. I, I hope for them all to be guilty, guilty and guilty. Uh, what they did was heinous, was horrible, was horrific. Inside federal court where no cameras are allowed, the defense pressed former MPD Lieutenant Dwayne Smith about prior testimony from Scorpion Team officers who said Lieutenant Smith was stats driven and big on making more arrests. Attorney Martin Zumak, who represents former officer Justin Smith, pressed the lieutenant who sent out Smith to work the streets that evening of Tyree's arrest. Officer Smith was actually assigned to desk duty because of a knee injury from an arrest the day before. But his lieutenant testified that he encouraged Smith to come to work to avoid messing up his overtime. And also former officer Emmett Martin III, who was on shift that evening after Martin himself testified that he wanted revenge against the driver who hit him weeks prior. Also late Tuesday, a current MPD officer, Valandria McKinney, testified that former officer Demetrius Haley sent her a photo of a bloody Tyree Nichols after she asked for ID on the person involved while she was taking a report. We need to realize that this pain is something that was preventable, uh, that Memphis Police Department policies and practices need to change, and politicians who are in positions of power need to show up. Yeah, also on the stand right now, a FedEx worker who said she knew um, what well, she knows, Officer Demetrius Haley, and he also sent her a photo. So now three witnesses in total who testified in this case who say that Demetrius Haley sent them a photo of a bloody Tyree Nichols. Now, coming up here new at 6, we did see Officer uh, Mills walk inside the federal building here. He's pled guilty on federal charges. If he testifies, we'll let you know what he says. All new at 6. We're live. I'm Jerry Askin. Action News 5. A major